What's up everyone, Man Bun Metal out here coming at you with another video. In this one, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about ducking delay and why you should be using it in your solos. Now, ducking delay can be a really powerful delay in your solos, but let me explain what it does. So let's first go into ducking. And that's kind of the big part of this because you guys all know what delay is. Ducking is basically compression where you have two signals. You'll have an A signal and a B signal. Your A signal will be your reference signal and the B signal is gonna be what is going to be compressed or not compressed. Now, when the A signal is playing or above a threshold, that B signal is going to be attenuated. So it's kind of just in the background or you don't hear it at all. And when the A signal stops, that's when the B signal will gain in volume and you'll be able to hear that. Now, if we look at this with the ducking delay, uh, the A signal is your guitar signal and the B signal is the delay tails. So what a ducking delay does is while you're still playing, you don't hear any delay. And then once you stop, you hear those delay tails. What's great about this with solos, and typically you'll have a longer delay time, can really crank up the volume of those delays and not have them interfere with the rest of your solo. So you get a really clean solo, but you get that really cool delay at the end. So let me give you guys some examples. Of course, need a guitar. Now, of course, I need to tune the guitar because you guys are pretty relentless about that. This episode brought to you by Snark Tuners, whom I can, I don't get sponsors. All right, switch over to my solo channel and I will also switch to, it's a little bit of reach. We'll switch to uh, a normal, a uh, long delay to get you guys an idea of what a normal delay uh, sounds like compared to this ducking delay. So you can hear that delay tail uh, in the background there. So as I solo, you get those nice delay tails at the end, but it would be nice if they were just a touch louder. So I can do that by turning up the mix on the delay. But what's gonna happen is those delay tails are gonna kind of overwhelm the rest of the solo. Let me show you. So I've got some pretty good delay tails going on there, but then the rest of the solo kind of gets muddled up. So this is where I switch to the ducking delay to kind of get the best of both worlds. So you can hear that delay in there. It's got a good volume, I think. It's got a nice long tail, nice and loud, really intelligible. But when I play, you don't hear it. Let me switch back to the normal long delay. So hopefully you can hear as I was switching back and forth there that the ducking delay sounds uh, a lot more clear, a lot more intelligible with the notes as you're playing and uh, you still get those delay tails uh, and we use the normal delay. It just, it doesn't sound bad. It just sounds a little muddled uh, while still getting the delay tails. 
So uh, I think the ducking delay is a fantastic delay to use in your solos. Uh, really helps them stand out. Uh, really helps every note be heard. Um, and I would definitely give it a shot if you can. Now I'm using the Strymon Timeline, but there are a lot of other uh, delays out there that have this feature. But if you're looking for them, make sure to look for ducking or dynamic. And uh, those should do the same thing. Be very careful when you look at these delays. Um, some of the lower end ones uh, won't have a lot of the controls. Uh, for instance, you kind of get a threshold barrier um, and how quickly the delay tails come back. So you don't want them to come back um, too quick or too slow. It just will sound unnatural. Um, so look out for that. But uh, something like the timeline, the uh, ecosystem by Empress, the uh, Seymour Duncan Andromeda, TC Electronics, Flashback X4 and Flashback 2 both have uh, a dynamic delay I believe. Uh, the Keeley Delay Workstation, the Behringer Echo Machine. So there's a lot of options out there. Uh, if you're looking for them make sure to kind of get an idea of what the pedals sound like and what kind of controls you have. Uh, again the Timeline's a great pedal. Uh, it is pretty costly uh, if you're only getting it for the ducking delay. There's uh, probably maybe better options out there cost-wise, although it is uh, probably the best delay you'll ever play, in my opinion, but that is a different video. Well, that's it, that is ducking delay. Hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please give me a like down there below. And if you wanna hear more about what I'm working on, uh, more guitar tech tips, tricks, techniques, that kind of stuff, uh, give me a subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever a new video comes out. But hey, until next time, rock on.